And we got Rampage to talk about here today. Remember, people wanted to not watch Rampage. We would have made a big mistake this week. Wasn't it like two people? Well, you know, however many it was. It would have been a big mistake. Probably. Because this was a very newsworthy Rampage. Was it not? The first 20 minutes was. are good. I believe it was. Yeah, it was, of course, obviously. Chibata wrestled on this show. He did. He sure did. That happened a long time. And he, just, he, he wrestled. He didn't hold anything back. Uh, fuck. I could not believe my eyes. I couldn't believe any of it. Couldn't believe it happened. Couldn't believe it was for the title. Couldn't believe it was on Rampage. Couldn't believe Mike Tyson did commentary. Couldn't he believe it was job. free. Couldn't believe he did a good job, yes. He knew, yeah. he knew his stuff. Couldn't believe he, Shibata lost. There's a lot I couldn't believe. That actually, of all of this, I mean... On the one hand, I can because he's not under contract, but on the other hand, it's Shibata. Well, it's funny because, you know, there were some uh, there were some people that were critical going, who is this Shibata? Like, they, they maybe had heard the name or whatever, but, you know, they, they didn't get it. They didn't realize why, why this guy was such a big deal. And, uh, you know, if you, if you realize why this was a big deal, then, you know, the match was, was something else. But if you didn't know why this was a big deal, and you felt that they didn't do a good enough job explaining why it was a big deal, then him jobbing pretty much told you, it wasn't that big a deal. He showed up and lost to Orange Cassidy. Whereas if he would have won, that would have been a big deal. But alas, he did not. Yeah. Well, let's talk about it. Well, let's review. Let's start with the Q&A. No, get out of here. <laughs> we watched AEW Rampage. Talking Rampage. about this match for hours, if I had to. There's a lot to say. Uh, November 4th, 2022. They begin by introducing Mike Tyson as special guest commentator. Now, I realized Mike Tyson was going to be the guest commentator because, because of course, we talked about it on Thursday. I didn't realize he was only here for the Shibata Orange Cassidy match. I didn't either. I thought he was going to be there for the whole show. Uh, no. I don't know if Shibata wanted this or if Orange wanted this or if Mike called and said, hey, I, I can give you 20 minutes and 20 minutes only. And they put him in the opener. But yes, Mike Tyson was calling Orange Cassidy versus Katsuyori Shibata. And uh, we get the Shibata video explaining, for those of you who are not familiar, he did it, not familiar with him. He did, in fact, nearly die of a brain injury. And then they came out for the match. And Mike Tyson's going crazy. The great Shibata, he notes. What a legend. Total wrestling icon. Orange Cassidy comes out. Mike calls him a great fighter. It's very evenly matched. Freshly squeezed, baby. You know, it's funny because this Mike Tyson fella, it's like clearly they had him ready for Orange Cassidy versus Shibata. They, I'm sure, clearly. clued him into some to some extent. But I think the key to all of this was when he correctly identified an <laughs> STO. Thank you. Thank you. And then later he had his octopus or whatever on Orange. And Orange got his foot on the ropes. And Mike Tyson explained he was stretching him. That's why he had to touch the ropes. I think that was pretty much his exact words. I, the stretching he him was, was in there. stretching him. Yeah. That's why he had to touch the ropes. And that's when I realized that, yeah, they prepared Mike Tyson and all. Yeah, they probably told him, you know, some scoops about Shabbat and Orange and the story and everything like that. But, man, at the end of the day, that guy's a fan. That guy's a wrestling fan. He watches wrestling. How the fuck else would he have correctly called an STO of all things? He wants some, like, guy did a DDT or a leg drop. He fucking did an STO, and Mike Tyson correctly called it. And no, none of the announcers did either. No. It was just Mike Tyson. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I thought he did a great job. Oh, he's fantastic. He did a great job. He didn't step on anybody. No, stay you know, awake. He, he said what he needed to say, and I thought he did well. Yeah. So the match begins, and I'm, I'm just gobsmacked this is actually happening. I mean, I know we're running this into the ground here, but seriously, it's Orange Cassidy versus Katsuyori Shibata. What the hell? And they were, in fact, both true to themselves. Orange is doing an Orange Cassidy match. Uh, he runs wild with his hands in his pockets, does the big tope, but that's a trap because now he's in the floor, and Shibata can wipe him out out there, and he destroys him for a long time. After the break... Shibata does the orange Cassidy shtick, only instead of wipe, uh, finishing it up with a big, like, super kick, slow-mo super kick to the shin, he winds up and then just clobbers orange as hard as he possibly can. <laughs> that was great. 
So they go for a uh, orange responds by doing Shibata's own sit down pose. They go to have a strike exchange, but neither wants to be the man to go first. So finally, Orange does, but he's still being Orange Cassidy. He's going super slow. He's being super gentle. And after like five of those, Shibata, again, just hits him as hard as he possibly can. <laughs> just levels him. This goes on for a while. Shibata gets an abdominal stretch. Gorilla Monsoon approved because Shibata actually hooked his leg around Orange Cassidy's leg. If you always listen to uh, Gorilla say this, and Gorilla would always call you an abdominal stretch, and no one ever did it right. Shibata does it right. That's why he's Shibata. Uh, there's a spot here where Orange just goes for a basic head scissors, and all Shibata has to do is like a somersault bump. But the timing was just a little bit off, and it looked like Shibata landed on his head. That was one scary spot in this match. Mm-hmm. I, I, I didn't just scream. I screamed, oh, no! But he was alive. He seemed to have survived. He came back. Orange hit the orange punch one time, but Shibata would not go down. He came back, and he hooked the sleeper, and he sets Orange down for the the PK, the penalty kick. And in the highlight of Mike Tyson's verbal career, he cries out, oh, shit! (laughs) But Shibata misses the penalty kick. Orange hits the orange punch again. And then, as God is my witness, Orange Cassidy pinned Katsuyori Shibata. Yeah, he did. The match ruled. Hey, you know who else is a uh, is a wrestling fan? Is Shibata. That's true. Because clearly this was a guy who, he liked Orange's shtick. He got it. Yes. He found it to be entertaining. Mm-hmm. He saw that he was over. And he thought, God damn, I would like to have a match with this fucker. And he did. And it was quite great. You know, it's funny when they announced this match... You know, I had a lot of questions, like, how did this guy get cleared? How can this guy not get cleared to do a match in Japan, of all places? But he's getting cleared here in America. And he did get cleared. But I wasn't really worried that he was going to get hurt in this match. Because, as I noted, I did have a match with Orange Cassidy. And uh, and actually, I did get hurt, but it was nothing Orange Cassidy did. I hit the ropes funny and tweaked my neck. But anyway, uh, he wasn't going to get hurt in this match. And... Listen, if you think this guy's not doing anything at the L.A. Dojo, think again. Oh, sure. This guy was told to go in the ring and do an exhibition match at the Dome, and he just went into business for himself and did a full match, okay? So he ain't following the rules there at the L.A. Dojo. And so I'm sure that this match was probably like an easy day off for him. Brian Danielson match? That was going to be a little bit different. But I thought he did a great job. Looked great. Looked like he really hadn't skipped a beat doing an Orange Cassidy match. I liked how they worked it, played to both guys' strengths. thought this match was great. You know, Shawn Michaels came back from a very bad injury, and he wrestled Shawn Michaels, or he wrestled wrestled Triple H at uh, the Survivor Series. And they got the heat very simply. Triple H gave him a backbreaker. Yeah. And while they didn't do anything like that here, but the first time Shibata hit the guardrail... Gosh, I'm a mark. <laughs> I just feared for the man's life. And I was scared and worried about him throughout the match. And then he landed on his head on the one spot. He did great. I can't yeah. wait to watch more of him. I can't wait to see him and Brian Danielson. I think that's going to rule. Um, this match was a lot of fun. And uh, if you haven't seen it, you you need to. It's worth seeing. Yes, and the, the thing that made it so great, and I, I think I, I'm repeating myself here, but they did not bastardize Orange Cassidy's gimmick. He was Orange Cassidy. Nor did they bastardize Katsuyori Shibata being the fighter. He got there in there and fought. It was not a styles clash. They melted together. They're both still true to themselves. It was great, great stuff. It, it was cool to see uh, Shibata actually mock Orange Cassidy with his own uh, weak kicks and whatever. Yeah, yeah. That was great. But then in the end, because he's still Shibata, he walloped him as hard as he possibly could. <laughs> right. <laughs> he, he'll, he'll do this. He, I, I, uh, I don't want to say stooped Orange's level. That's the way to put it. But he'll, he'll, he'll play along for a little bit. Mm-hmm. But in the end, it's Shibata. And you're in danger. You're in grave danger. What part do you love about this job, Granny? Nothing. When you, when you irritate me? <laughs> you make me mad? I, I guess seeing, seeing you guys. When you week. needle me? Quit talking over me. Sorry. If Granny, this person asks, 
could leave only one thing in her will for Brian. <laughs> <laughs> what would it be? Rufus versus Roman Reigns. 2016. Rufus. Rufus on barricade. Rufus comes back. Drops Reigns on the top rope. Rufus has a temper tantrum because only two count. Do you know that we put a clip of you on the internet last week? And these people I'm... on the internet are so dumb that they thought that we hired an actor to play you. No. Mm -hmm. uh, eh, forget kidding. about it. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.